Earlier this month, our government, which can never agree on anything, right, amazingly managed to find agreement among officials both Democrat and Republican on something. That something was, instead of cutting our expenses, a decision was made, brilliant, to raise the debt ceiling instead, as we have in this country pretty much done every single year since 1776. Consumerism, after all, is the American way. Now, we understand if this news was lost on you amid the furor over those Starbucks red coffee cups or the Denver Broncos Akib Talib poking someone in the eye. And speaking of Starbucks, whether or not they're trying to get rid of Christmas, well, I love to put up lights, say Merry Christmas to people, and read the story of a baby in a manger. And I also still get excited on Christmas morning about what Santa might have brought to me. And this morning, standing in line at Starbucks, I was reminded of how fortunate I am to be able to afford that $5 cup of coffee. First world problems, right? But back to the Bipartisan Budget Act of 2015. You might be wondering how it will affect you. Well, for years there's been this little loophole in Social Security that has allowed spouses to claim and suspend their benefits. And we have used this strategy with many of our clients to maximize their lifetime Social Security benefits. Typically, we can only use this strategy with clients who have enough cash flow to afford deferring their benefits until well after their full retirement age, think FRA, which for most boomers is around age 66 with the maximum benefits kicking in at age 70. From there, the benefits don't grow anymore. Our advice, while mathematically correct, has not aligned itself with the message from the mainstream media that tells everyone that they should claim Social Security as early as possible so that when they die early, they'll have gotten the biggest amount of Social Security dollars possible. Well, when we've had this Social Security conversation in our conference room right here, I typically hear the words, Dave, I want to take my Social Security as soon as possible so I don't lose it when I die young and, in the same breath, I don't need life insurance because I'm going to live a long time. Now think about that, folks. No, really, I mean, think about it. As your financial advisor, we can plan for you to die early. We can plan for you to live a long life using every asset that you possibly own. But what we can't do is efficiently plan for both. All kidding aside, this Bipartisan Budget Act has simply eliminated a little loophole that gave primarily wealthy Americans the ability to maximize their Social Security benefits. If you're of qualifying age, you can still take advantage of this option until May 1st, 2016, when the file and suspend loophole, as it's known, will officially be closed. So what do we do going forward? Well, there's no need to panic. We do have until May 1st to review your options. Maybe you've already had this conversation with us and we've determined that you can't take advantage of this loophole. If you're already using the file and suspend strategy or wondering if you can, we will be reviewing your individual options with you between now and the first quarter of 2016. And interestingly, in light of these changes, the use of life insurance as a social security planning strategy is going to be even more important as now there's even less room to wiggle, right? Less room for error in planning for a worst case scenario early death in the family. If you have questions about this law or know someone who might need help navigating the changes, please give us a call or send them our way. We'll give them an hour of our time, complimentary. We're here to help.